So who cares about this XYO price today? Before buying, you want to scan the XYO protocol features. You need to understand the protocol. You need to know what a cryptocurrency investment is about and for before you make it, just to make sure that you're gonna be profitable long-term, not just a couple hundred bucks a day. So we're going to uh, go through bound witness. We're gonna go through proof of origin. We're gonna go to relative versus absolute data. This is what is the backbone of XYO network. So over here, this is the proof of origin page. It's very quick and simple. To put it simply, a chain that confirms a location through collection, confirmation, and storage of bound witness interactions. This chain is used to answer questions related to location data certainty. So if you don't know too much about uh, XYO, it is about geographical location data and everything. For instance, if you lose your bag at the airport, XYO has a so uh, software or the type of technology that will be able to locate it so that it's not being mistaken for some type of, uh, you know, you know what, that can get you in trouble at the airport or whatever. You can read down here and everything a little bit more about proof of origin to a developer if you're a developer. Now we're going to go over here to bound witness. What's important about bound witness? To put it simply, all right, when two devices that aren't related are connected to the uh, to each other, uh, connect to each detect one another and then independently report that they saw each other. Each one proves that they are both really were in the same place at the same time. XYO network reports the interaction as a bound witness. Okay, so I have the relative to show y'all next. So keep watching. Bound witness interactions can include other data that helps increase the value of the bound witness. Things like time and location improve the data which can be used in the bound witness and help prove what the bound witness asserts. For example, if someone is looking for information about when two devices cross paths, if they, number one, detect each other and say they detect each other, report the same approximate location and say that A and B happened at the same approximate time, that proves they really did interact in a certain place at a certain time. It reminds me of the same technology that a, um, a metal detector might have. So well, only is a, a lot different. <laughs> All right, so basically when the two devices will cross between each other, uh, just like if you brought a, a weapon in, in through a metal detector, it would like alert. It would like record that date time that those two cross paths with each other. So the same way a metal detector would go off, imagine uh, a timestamp being on that when you went through that metal detector. That's kind of what this bound witness is, okay? So now let's get to the relative and absolute data. To put it simply, when two devices that aren't related connected each detect each other, I don't know what's up with my reading today, y'all. My bad, I'm tired. When two devices that aren't related are connected, each detect one another, then independently report that they saw each other. Each one proves that they are uh, really in the same place at the same time. Kind of like the same thing, pretty much. All right, XYL Network reports the interaction as a bound witness, okay? All right, so yeah, it's pretty much like the same thing we just read, okay? So... Is a real world applications coming soon and everything. If you guys don't know about that, you can go to the case studies page right here. They're gonna have them in airports, hospitals, e-commerce. You should check out the case studies uh, uh, video I did. National security, rental cars, and drones, okay?